Don't forget to subscribe. Also click on the bell for notifications. Hello, this is Jessica from Lonely Marie Christians coming to you another video on the SWF MAS-12. I'm going to be importing an image through the USB. So I'm going to show you how to save that as well as save the uh, new image color palette. So that way when you're looking at the monitor, you can see the correct colors on there. I'll show you the way not to do it because there are certain ways where if you change the color palette, it'll show the original design that it came imported. So usually those colors look off, but you still get the sequence for the needle positions on there. That does not matter. But if you're a visual person just like me and want that exact color palette, everything ready to go, boom, you know, you're going to sell that same, uh, same colors on there. You can um, save it on there so that way you can just run it. Um, and also I'm going to show you uh, to save it again in a di different color sequence. So it'll, um, you'll have two of the same images with two different color sequences. And again, this is going to be a really thorough, extensive little video, especially for beginners, because there are certain ways not to save it. Uh, ways how to, um, let me see, change the color palette, but everything is, you'll see. Uh, enough talking, back to the video. Okay, so on this video, I'm going to be transferring my designs through the USB, uh, through a USB um, little jump drive. So this one is an 8 gigabyte. Um, I also use a 16 gigabyte and a 32 gigabyte, but I separate it into the folders so there's not that many on there. Um, I also use a uh, extender on there for um, wear and tear um, for now. I'd, I'm not using this since I don't really use a USB on here. I normally use a software since sometimes I do my uh, designs at work while I'm out of the house. So I am going to import this, uh, show you how to do some color changes on there, um, different, uh, different ways to save your design so you can see what um, you're going to be stitching out. Okay, for right now, oh, let me let me take this out. Okay, I had to edit this because it is very hot in here. So I'm going to delete all my stuff. Okay, this area I did edit it to fast forward on there to the jump drive. Let me connect my jump drive on there. And then I'm just going to load up one of her. Not you could also save your images that you have um, fixed the needle positions on here onto your jump drive too. And that's what happened to that one image that you've seen. This one, I'm just going to just do uh, one of these right here. I believe the second one is the one... I want to save so I'm gonna save her on to here so I'm gonna go to user and then she's right here I'm gonna take off my jump drive on here you can keep it on okay so her I am going to bring her in pick on my needle positions so I already have everything written down so on your if you have a software and you have two colors with the same same um, color palette so say if you have two teal that's considered one needle position so um, this has 20 needle positions on here uh, that's the different um, needle changes that it has on my Embrilliant software, there's over 30, 30 colors, color um, design areas on there. But because the sequence is the same, it's gonna run the same needle, it's not gonna count it. So my first eight, I do white because it's my applique. So I'm gonna pick all my, my designs. For this plus right here, I can also add in my uh, white on there and, or take it away on here so if I want to say number let me see them pick one more so say if I want number eight is going to be number eight 
If I press plus, 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 it's going to run the same, but I don't need that because it's not, it doesn't read uh, two of the same color unless you want to uh, redesign your, your stuff. So I could go back that way or just pick the, pick the area and then just um, press the number again. So eight, five, 12, eight, five, And it's good just to write everything down for your sequence so you know where, where you're at on here. So 14 is two, six, two, five, 12, nine, eight. Okay. And then my color stops are on my first eight so on the monitor, you're easily able to go down to review where your stops are on here. So if you imported it from the software, you can kind of visually see or fix it on here. Okay, so I put my color stop between one and two. All the way to uh, when I click on number nine. Because um, my last applique where I put my material down is number eight. So I want to stop right after that so I can cut my material. If not, it's going to run. I don't need to mess with automatic because it's already going to go automatically after this um, sequence of uh, applique design. So this is ready to go. So I am going to close this. I could save it on here. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to save it. Let me see. I'm going to save it on here. Save a new one. I'm going to go to number 30. So I'm going to start with number 30 on my thing. And then I'm going to redo this again. Load her back up. Load her up again. Do my color sequence. And there's nothing there. So, okay, so this time I'm gonna change my colors on here. So, not number nine is gonna be a six instead. Then a five. And a 12. And a six this time. Back to five two, six, two, five, twelve, ten, ten instead, and a, uh, let me see, a six. So, put my color stops, stop. Close it, load it, now I want to save that, save that. This design has changed, do you want to change the original? I can change the original one right here where it's going to save it onto, it's not going to save onto the USB because I don't have it connected. Uh, I'm going to save a new one. I have the one, other one at 30, so I'm gonna put it at 35. Okay, you see the difference where I saved my color palette? So if I save it right after I put the needle changes onto the other screen, it keeps the same colors that I had imported, but they actually, when I load this one up, actually, let me close, open this one. Load this one up. And it already has all my needle positions on here with a new color palette, color sequence. Close that, close that, this one, open that one up, and you can see the sequence and it has all my color palette with the new design. 
but you cannot see it. Okay, so you can still use number 30. It has all this color sequence, but again, you, if you're visual like me um, and want to see the correct colors, um, you can edit that. I deleted this because I want the visual um, of the color palette. Okay, I was trying to edit number 30 to get the original color palette that I had picked, but whatever I had loaded, which was number 35, is going to show that color palette onto and number that's 30, 31. So I'm going to save it at 31. Save. That's the color palette that I had placed on there, the same as that one. So now it's showing now. I could delete this one and just leave it as that. So my next one is going to be a different color sequence. Okay, I'm gonna show you how editing just two colors onto a design is not gonna work. I'm gonna see if I can load this up, load, and see if I can change it. I'll show you what it does if you try to change it from here. Okay, I'm gonna change number 9, 12, and 20. 9, 12, and 20. And 19 is going to be 19 is going to be um, 8, 2. Close this one. I want to save the new color palette, so I want to save the new one. I'll leave it at number 10. Close it up. Actually, let me close it. Close it up. 10 is going to be saved the same. Load it. Save new one. Save it next to there. And it's actually not letting me get a new palette on there. So it did keep everything the same as the old one. So go back to your original. Here's one that doesn't work and I'm going to show you what happens after if you try to save it. So this one is that one. Open it up. So it is my one I just picked and that's with the purple stuff. Close that one up. I have that one picked. Load it. Load. Design. Load. It's not going to let me now. So I'm going to choose another one. Load that one up. Load. Close that one. I'm going to pick this one. Load that one up. There's nothing to save now. It's not going to let me do this. So this one. Close. File save. Load that one up. 14. So let me load this one up. It still has all my color palette here. Close. Save it. Save new one. 16. Close. 16. Oops. 16. Okay, I know you guys are beginners, but I'm going to forward it because I'm going to be um, doing the same thing over and over. Okay, so I'm going to redo and pick all my needle positions again for this design to show you the different um, color palette. Don't forget your uh, pleat positions too on there since you can do that later on. Loader. Eight, five, twelve. 
Eight, five, two, six, two, five, twelve, nine, eight. Close that up. Design. Right. Load. Don't save it. Go to your design. Save it now. Now it gives you that option. Save new one. Save it on 22. And there's my colors. Long process. The design's right here. So let me show you on here how to load that. It has all my seat color sequence. And I'm going to see if I can do that. So I'm going to reset all of this. And just put all these weird old things on here. So we'll see how it comes out. Close that up. Load that up. Let's see if that works now. Design. Now save that. Save new one to number 25. Go down and you can do it this way as well. Pick that color, reset the color. You don't have to go back to that number one and um, get a new color palette. You see it's not the same as uh, these ones right here. It'll save you a new one. So save you a headache than, you know, going back to the original one. You can save a new one from these ones right here. So. All right, so this is Jessica from Little Lemur Creations. Till next creation, see you guys later. Well, hold up for there. I have another little video. Okay, so if you stick around, I am gonna show you the design that I had imported already. Again, those ones, I don't have to do anything already on there since they already are ready to go. They're already saved. For that one I was telling you about, the applique positions that I had, Start it from the beginning and then like closer to the middle area to uh, applique the second design. Let me see. I am going to load her up and I'm going to go to my needle position and I'm going to show you how it looks on the left. It's easier to view on here than on the software as you probably if you did see my last video on the how to create the the needle colors, needle positions onto the software. Um, you'll see how that looks and the S's like constantly go down. So on this one, you seen that? I have my needle position eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like before, between the 14 and the 15, I should have had it after that. I think it, it was it was correct actually. And when I go down, you don't see any stops there. And then there you go. It starts for my next uh, my next design. So it stops at, I stopped it at between 32 and 33. And then it's, it has the stops for it. And then it continues automatically. So if you want to either import it onto the software and you just have to like guess, the, do the count on there. Or if you want to visually see it, you can um, import it through the USB and then put your needle colors on here. For here, if I wanna reset it, I can put the timer on here and I could, I could reset it, but I could close it, close it. I don't wanna save it cause it's gonna mess up my, my stuff. And I wanna go back to there and then load that back up. It has all my needle positions again. I can change it if I, I need to. And that's it for this extra. This is Jessica from Lonely Me Creations. Till next creation.